This is Betty Tracyak from kittystamp.blogspot.com. Today I have a tutorial for making an origami Christmas tree. The materials that you need for this project are 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, scissors, bone folder, and some sort of slim item such as a skewer or an unsharpened pencil. Choose the side of the paper that you would like to be on the outside of your Christmas tree and fold the paper in half diagonally. Open it and fold it on the opposite diagonal. Flip the paper over and fold it in half in both directions. Hold on to the two corners at the tip and pull those toward the center and that will help everything fold together so that you have a square. Look for this center line and take each flap and fold to that center line. Take a moment to make sure that you have the tip lined up. And work your way around so that each of the flaps are folded. Then take one of the flaps, fold it upright, and open it up. And this is where it's helpful to have a small pointed object to be able to get right up into that top peak so that that folds flat nicely. And again, work your way around so that each of the four sections are folded in the same way. Then hold the paper so that you can see the underside of the paper and cut across this section to make the bottom of the tree. Then hold the tree so that you have it flat with equal amounts on both sides. And again, look for the center line and you're going to make three cuts. The cuts are going to go from the edge of the tree almost but not all the way to the center. So these lines are cut so that they are parallel to each other. further on that one. 
flip it over and you're going to make three identical cuts on the opposite side, mirroring the cuts. Then take each of these little cut sections, leave the top alone, move down to the second cut, and you're going to fold from the point where it is cut here all the way to the tip. You can take time and burnish each of these now or you can go back and do that later but getting those flat does help to make this fold nicely on the bottom one. You're looking to have it from the cut all the way again to the end and it will line up at the bottom as well. That makes the side of the Christmas tree and now you just flip this over and move on to the next section and you'll do this all the way around the tree. Once you have those all folded, then you open the tree and you can manipulate that a bit till you get the everything even around the outside so that you have it nicely formed. One idea for using the little tree is to make a little display. I colored a couple little cutouts and put those onto a freeform hill that I cut. This is just the shape of a hill with little tabs that I then just glued at the back to be able to have those stand up for a little display to go with the trees. And then a bonus idea is to use the triangles that were cut away to make a card. I made this little card here and to do that I just took the triangles um, because these had been cut by hand they were a little bit rough so I used my paper trimmer to trim those up and then used a pair of scissors to cut through the center and ended up with little triangles that were then able to make this card. This card actually fits into a business size envelope. It is four inches by nine inches. And I just made extended this piece here, scored it and glued that onto the back. So hope to see all of the ideas that you have with this and have a very fun crafting day.